What's up? Hello and welcome to the Speaking English Podcast. I'm your host, Sebastian, and this is episode 192, Bed versus Bet and Bad versus Bat. And the quick answer is that when you have a D at the end of the word, you have a longer vowel. And when you have a T at the end of the word, you have a shorter vowel. And when you have an E as in bed and bet, you have to make your mouth open more horizontally. And when you have an A, you want to open your mouth more vertically, like a bat, bad, as opposed to bet, bed. Also, you have D, D versus T, T, and that's a short answer. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, okay. So, to expand a little bit, bed versus bet. So, the vowel in bed is longer. It is longer. It's not totally long, not bed, but it's bed, and it's shorter in bet, bet, eh, eh, eh versus eh. And when we're talking about the E between the two consonants, we want to open the mouth across the horizon horizontally. Be, eh, eh. You can even practice this without the sound. Right. And for bad and bat, the same principle. When you have the D at the end in bad, the vowel is longer. And when you have the T at the end, as in bat, the vowel is much shorter. Also, you have D, D versus T, T, D, T, D, T. In order to help you pronounce these consonants better, it's important to make the vowel the appropriate length. Finally, the A sound, as opposed to the E sound, has to be formed with the mouth more vertical. Bad. Uh, uh. This helps you when you want to say you lost a bad bet, a bad bet, or you sleep in a bad bed. Look at my mouth, it's a bad bed. You have to really pronounce these over the top a lot, over the top, over the top. Okay, there it can also be a bad bat because it carried a virus, you found it somewhere, or there's a bat in your bed. Look at my mouth. There's a bat in your bed. If you have any questions, put them in the description box under the video on YouTube or Facebook, wherever. If you like what you heard, share it with a friend, send it via email. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. I thank you for tuning in and I see you next time. Bye bye.